the worst character in every Dragon Ball arc. Starting off with the Tournament of Power. This is a little bit of a hot take. But if you truly watch the Tournament of Power, and people are saying Ribrian and Piccolo, no, 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 no. It's no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Krillin was so f annoying this arc oh my god oh my god he was he was on track to be not near this conversation krillin prior to being in the arena was so great he was so great he, and i know some of you guys know sage the, bl the blue kamehameha clash it doesn't piss me off it was just dumb you want to know why i think krillin was the easily the most annoying character in the tournament of power this shit right here not the title, not the moment that, no, no, Krillin just casually being on the bench and talking the whole f***ing arc. Holy shit. Shut up, Krillin. I mean, my God, why do you need to pay attention to what's happening on the screen? You got Krillin. What, why do you need to read the show or watch the show? You got Krillin right there. He'll tell you everything five times over. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, man. Hey, Ribrian is fucking annoying. I get it. The Power Ranger guy, hit or miss. I, I actually fuck with him. Piccolo is too damn dumb. So I hear you. But holy shit. You cannot convince me that this on the bleachers wasn't beyond and far away the most annoying that the only reason that I can accept someone saying nah say you're bugging is because Krillin was great prior to getting eliminated but once Krillin is eliminated he is the most annoying thing of all time and I'm making a point here that is the worst all right moving on Goku Black Arc the worst character in the Goku Black Arc my god it's not close Trunks you're lucky oh my god it's this <laughs> um, because at least certain things about Trunks, while madly confusing, are understandable. While I don't like Super Saiyan Rage, it's not hard to understand what it is. While I don't like Trunks just surviving an assault, it's not hard to deduce as to why. This nigga Samasu, I, I don't know how the fuck you lost. I don't know how A equals B depending on certain conversations. And I really don't like how this nigga just go post moves every time someone debunks some of his uh, ideologies. And while he's supposed to be the GOAT, and even this scene, I like him. I mean, my God, once we get to this form of him, oh, I, I, shut up, Zamasu. I don't even need to sit here and dive deep into a lot of the reasons why Zamasu doesn't work. The most damning one for me is when he holds the guy that knows everything at gunpoint and doesn't ask the right questions ridiculous and some people some people defend this fair enough you can defend it competently even i'd say but like the idea he didn't ask yeah what happens if i fuse with black again crazy hell this is, this is just an i don't like it thing this was the dumbest thing i've ever seen in dragon ball super's history why does he fuse with the it's just so many things to not like about this fucking guy you can argue his design's ugly it's just so many things not to like about zamasu i don't need to sit there and debate you uh universe six has no like painfully annoying characters that i'm trying to think of i mean maybe boo going to sleep was annoying but off the dome champa if you don't find him funny monica if you don't find that funny frost is actually pretty fucking dumb actually frost beerus and champa looking my, my three i know some of y'all gonna be surprised i said beerus but beerus is literally like half krillin syndrome and then the other half is kind of like what <laughs> oh my god like like is are you a god of destruction or not like why are you acting like fucking pussy this whole arc my god I, I ain't gonna lie i don't even think i need to explain frost frost is just i i, I like what you tried but it did not work <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna sit there and explain it moving on to the re revival of f arc this is a one hitter quitter because i'm not gonna lie character assassination is never cute and i'm not gonna lie not only did they assassinate a character they repeated the same thing this was the worst shit they, they i'm not gonna lie like this was perhaps the worst thing to Super did. It was just so bad and awful to see. Go on. Yep, that's me. Uh, I, I don't need to talk about it. I, I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not arguing this. I know I didn't argue the last one, but that was out of like a joke. This one, I'm not arguing. You think someone's worse? You win.
Go for it. No. Anyway, we move on to the Battle of Gods. I think this is pretty fair to say with Vegeta in this arc. You could argue you can't fucking stand Vegeta in this arc, where he essentially just cucks to Beerus over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And then it, it pays off a little bit when he stands up to him. But then it's like, oh, damn. So you could argue Vegeta. I wouldn't, but you can. Um, You could argue Bulma. And then you could argue, well, honestly, a lot of these characters don't do a lot outside of them. And then Goku's fighting Beerus. So I think it might be a two-man race and considering i like vegeta here you might have to go bulma bulma question mark oh yeah bulma is uncharacteristically i don't give a fucky to like to a dangerous degree and it's kind of like you wouldn't take the hint it's one thing for bulma to be strong-willed and shit like that chat i'm aware that she's a strong-willed woman she's with vegeta and i'm aware that like she would even talk crazy to strong villains in the past however bulma has never seen niggas get their ass kicked and then while everyone's pretty much knocked out not giving a fuck she saw go tanks pick Piccolo, Boo, and even her husband get fucked up and then smacked Beerus. That was like... What are you doing? Okay, now we're in Z. Who was the worst character in the Boo arc? For me, this is easy. It's these niggas, especially the short one. It's just so dumb, bad, irrelevant. For those that would have, would have and or need a debate as to why the Supreme Kai is the worst nigga in this arc one he's useless so let's get out that out the way he is literally nothing more than a than a meat bag than someone who just gets beat up on time in and time out he's not interesting the only interesting thing about him is who the f are you <laughs> that is it literally once you know who he is okay <laughs> you don't care anymore now let's get to some where people are triggered no matter who you say the cell saga who is the worst character in the cell saga trunks is definitely safe in this arc it's not goku it's not gohan it's not cell and i'm an og dragon ball guy you can't act like krillin ain't a candidate in this arc yeah he in this conversation <laughs> But um, I would probably say you either go Krillin, you maybe go Yamcha because he plays a pivotal role here. But I think counting Yamcha in these conversations with Mickey, it's like Yamcha's never bad enough for me to care about him, you know? Like Yamcha's, he's Yamcha, okay? So I'd probably say considering importance to the story is probably Krillin. But let me be clear, even though I even though I named Krillin the worst character back to back, the tournament of power was strictly due to commentary. And this arc is just because, I ain't gonna lie, narratively speaking, he has like one of the biggest ups in the entire arc this is just straight up fair to say i don't think krillin's a bad character especially as a guy that uh enjoyed how krillin's original character with goku was just to be a dick <laughs> love krillin and og dragon ball i love krillin and every other arc remaining on this list but he pissed me off in this arc so for sure namek saga hey man you could be very mickey and say goldo <laughs> um you could go bulma even though she mattered, the idea of like just her side quest panels, I know they're fillers, but I don't care. Um, Like just see what Bulma's going to do. Is she fighting a crab or some shit? Like, it's like, uh, okay, Bulma, who cares? You can go uh, Nail? Because I ain't going to lie. I didn't get it. I know some of you guys like Nail. Care about Nail. Raccoon, fuck no. Raccoon has one of the best fights in the series. What are we doing? No, 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 no. Raccoon is safe. Birder is annoying. Birder is annoying. Someone brought up Birder. I'm the fastest. And we're like, okay, let's let's think about this. Getting you stronger than you. He's likely faster. Frieza exists. Not faster than Frieza. I know that for a fact. Goku just walked out of there and blitzed you. I don't think you're faster than Goku. To be honest. But I'm the, but I'm the fastest in the universe. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? So so Birder's annoying. Goldo. I mean, he's Goldo. It's fun to bully him. Damn, a lot of these characters don't piss me off. It's not Zara. I'd probably say Dodorio versus Goldo, uh, versus uh, Birder for annoying characters and or worse characters. Dende is also just a walking plot device. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I go Dende. Because in hindsight, Dende is just there. But he's a character that, like, I don't care about Dende. But it's just, like, matters that much. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say Dende, bro. <laughs> and I seem like some hater shit. Maybe I'm pushing an agenda. You got me. Because, like, I almost really didn't even factor Dende in the conversation. And the whole time, Dende's just, he's just a plot to fight. And Bulma is too. But, like, at least Bulma is personal. Personality. I don't give a fuck about Dende. We're going to finish this off with Dragon Ball Z Saiyan Saga. Who's the worst character here? Not going to lie. I mean, Yamcha can be in this conversation. But I'm going to go Chaozu. But, uh, it's Yen. But, Yen, please. Oh, the 
I don't care. I, 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 but what are your thoughts? Who do you think was actually the worst? Uh, I don't know. I'm sucking out your boy. Oh, shit. Take care. Stay blessed. Forgot to tell you that. <laughs> now, bye.